Good day. Today we're in Melbourne, aka Melbourne, the VIC. Shout out to Angie. Shout out Mark K. And one more quick shout out to Scott Morrison because today I'm going to be eating some Maccas. First time eating Maccas, uh, aka McDonald's. But down here, they're really serious about just calling it Maccas. They're just leaning fully into it, as you can see. I got uh, a few things. Eight, nine different things. I got a classic Angus burger, a barbecue bacon Angus burger, aioli, grilled chicken McGrap, a double McChicken, a chicken and cheese, a two-piece pineapple fritters, a small fries, an eight-piece grape tomatoes, and a McDonald's Land cookies. Didn't order that, but okay. All right, so I paid 55 bucks for this, and right off the bat, I noticed I didn't get my wrap. Typical, very typical. And... They also messed up by giving me a six piece nug instead of the pineapple fritters, which I was actually kind of curious about. Never heard of such a thing, but I'm thinking everything else should be what it should be. Here are the two Angus burgers. These are the only burgers, uh, beef burgers that I saw on the menu that were unique. You know, there's the classic double cheeseburger, you know, Big Mac, that kind of stuff. There's also an Aussie Angus burger, but that was just, I couldn't find that on any restaurant. I've been here for a couple of days now. I've been looking on all the locations, couldn't find this. So it is what it is. But these two are, I think, pretty unique, at least for me. Here are the, the grape tomatoes. Double McChicky, McChicken. Uh, chicken and cheese. Right here, small fry. And we got the nuggets, which I just don't really care about too much, to be honest with you. And the cookies, y'all remember these? I barely remember these. Apparently these got discontinued years ago, but they still have them here. So for anyone who's, you know, a fan of these, you might have to come all the way down here to get them. Anyway, there are a couple other things that were on the menu that were always sold out at every location as well that I wanted to try. Onion rings looked interesting to me. Tim Tam McFlurries sold out everywhere. So I don't know, um, but I have to do a McDonald's video just I gotta do it. So let me just go down the line real quick. I'm gonna start off with a little appetizer just to, to get the juices flowing. Grape tomatoes. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever heard of grape tomatoes. Like, I know about cherry tomatoes, but these actually are in the shapes of grapes. And they almost have a little bit more of a grape like texture. They taste like cherry tomatoes to me. I guess it's something, something. I, I don't know. I don't know when I would order these. Maybe I could experiment with like, say this double McChicken is too dry. Just slap on a tomato and get some extra juiciness. But let's try this out now. The double McChicken. So it's basically like a regular McChicken, except you have, I, I feel like the ratios could be weird on this one because you have the lettuce and the, and the mayo on top. But for the second patty here, it's just a patty. So we'll see, it might be a little bit dry. That's different. That hits different. Real different, different. Not as dry as I thought it would be, but a much more meaty chickeny bite. And then since it's kind of like a piece of, well, fried chicken, you're getting multiple layers of that crispiness. And the, why don't people do more double chicken sandwiches? It really beats me. But I like it. I like it a lot. Let's try a fry just to, just to compare. I hear these are vegan friendly down here. And you can tell, by golly. I'm just kidding, completely kidding. I can't really no notice the difference between whatever they're doing to make these vegan. They taste like McDonald's fries, they taste good, well salted, delicious. Mighty fine. Wow. <laughs> well, 
What's yeah? What's the deal with that cheese? They could have done a little bit better. This is basically like a filet fish type of thing because it's looking like they're using half a piece of cheese, which I don't. I will never understand that, but it is what it is. This one I feel like might suffer from some dryness. A little bit dry. A little bit dry, but this is where this might come in the clutch. That's not bad. That will definitely add it. Getting these as a backup is, is might be a, a crucial idea. Just put it in there like that. Definitely adds a lot. I like this. More chicken with cheese on it. I want more. Man, I'm almost like halfway through trying everything. Kind of a small menu here today. This Angus burger, though, this is a hefty burger. Let me tell you what. Looks like we got tomato, mustard, mayo. We got red onions. Love that. Uh, we got some cheese. We got lettuce on the bottom. We got another piece of cheese. This is completely glued shut, but a decent patty. You can't really see that or else the whole thing is going to come crashing down. But it uh, looks like a very solid thing. I don't see pickles on it. Maybe they're hidden somewhere. We'll see. Mmm. Mmm. Low-key decent, man. Low-key real decent. I feel like they're kind of making this to compete with the Whopper a little bit. You know, the Whopper from Hungry Jack's down here. That's nice. Decent meat. A little bit of a different quality level on that meat. Good bun. Real solid, in my opinion. I'm hungry. I've been eating. I'll tell you what, the food down here so far, uh, first impressions, first time in Australia, like I said, but let me just say a couple first impressions. For one, people are super nice. Just two days in, can't really make any crazy judgments, but that's one thing. Also, the food down here, I've been out to three restaurants now, uh, all fire. So so loving the food down here. I was, I was really debating whether to go to sydney or to go to melbourne melbourne you know but uh but i think i made the right choice i don't know i think this is no, more known as a food city honestly probably most of these videos i'll be eating like chain food kind of stuff like that but i'll definitely be enjoying what the uh the city has to offer when it comes to nice restaurants and food anyway here is the barbecue bacon angus different cheese on this one two slices again but it's i think they're calling this uh they're calling this Aussie Jack cheese. It looks like a little bit of a white-ish cheese. Appears to be more mayo. We got barbecue sauce and bacon. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay, so they're adopting the uh, the English way of using bacon down here, apparently. At least at McDonald's. That's... Hmm. You know? All right. Hmm. Going in. Not bad. That's not too bad though. I do like the cheese on there. Saw a little burger there. Nothing to write home about. 
Honestly, I was debating whether to even do this video because there weren't that many crazy selections, but I had to do it. I just got to keep up the tradition. You know what it is. Last but not least, try some nugs. Hold on. Oh, damn. What a rookie mistake. So I tried to film everything close up with this, but I didn't turn on my camera, so. I'll give you a glimpse right now. There are the nugs that just ate. I feel like they're a little bit more crispy on the outside for some reason, but maybe it's just some mind tricks. Uh, here is the barbecue bacon Angus burger. Decent little patty there. As well as the one on this. Chicken, chicken and cheese. Fries, whatever. Double with chick. Grape tomatoes. And uh, we gotta try these. Yeah. Sorry about that. First video in a new place. I'm always so flustered trying to figure out the right setups. So forgive me, please. Do y'all remember these? They're like little wafer things. I mean, they're, they're never that good. I don't remember, but. Something about him it brings you back to the play place. They're solid. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Um, they do bring you back. And it's a nice little snack. I'm going to go down the line one more time to try everything else out. Pick some winners, pick some losers. To me, there's got to be a winner. Double my chicken. It just, I thought it was going to be dry and it wasn't. So maybe just exceeding my expectations just by a little bit. I mean, I would never order a regular McChicken if I had the option to get a double McChicken. You know what I mean? Solid vegan fries. Chicken and cheese, mm. here's what I'll say. If you got it fresh, it'd be a winner. But once that cheese starts to solidify, once that chicken starts to dry out, like the GVD, it almost becomes a little bit inedible. Well, not really, but it definitely changes the quality. This is one where you gotta eat quick, hot, fresh. Hmm. Now, these English burgers, uh, do they have these in the States these days? I don't, I think they did. At one point, I'm not sure if they still do. Here's, here's my take on it. It's not bad, but I'm not going to McDonald's to get like a premium burger. That's, that's just what I'm, I'm not. I'm going there for like a double cheeseburger, you know, McNugs, fries, the cheap stuff. And so I see what they're going for. They want to make something a little bit premium. But uh, nine times out of nine, I'm probably going to get a double cheeseburger over this um, or two double cheeseburgers over this. You know, you probably be the same price. Especially that you can, since the fact that you can customize things over here, 
Um, in Korea, you can't. The apps do not let you customize. There's no customization options, but over here, you can. So you could probably just get like, you know, some of these extra add-ons if you wanted to put these on to a double cheeseburger, say red onions, um, tomato, you might be able to. I didn't really look into that, but. I'm gonna go ahead and say, kind of the same thoughts on this one. I feel like this one has a little bit more potential I'm disappointed I didn't get to try my pineapple fritters or the aioli freaking chicken wrap. But they completely just left out of my order. This happens. I don't know if it's an Uber Eats problem. Anyway, I'm skating out of here. Maccas, down the hatch. Thank you for all the suggestions in my last video. Next video, 100% going to be an HSP. Never had heard of that, but everyone was talking about it. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'll see you in that next video. Thanks for watching this one. Catch you. Later. Peace.